Hey there guys, how are you? So the final trailer for Star Wars Episode 7 has finally arrived and now it's time to watch it. I'm going to give you my reaction and then after my reaction, I'm going to give you my review. So here it goes. Are you guys ready for this? I know I am. Mwah. Get the fuck off me! Ah! You know what really sucks about that? I gotta clean all that shit up now. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Just from the opening shots in this trailer, it gives me chills down my spine because the camera's locked down. You can tell J.J. Abrams is going for that mysterious, suspenseful type of movie, and that's what I think we all wanted to see because after the prequels, well, it just felt like people in front of a green screen are sitting on a couch talking. But let's get back to J.J. Abrams locking the camera down and really going for the vibe that the original Star Wars had. It wasn't shaky cam, it wasn't a whole bunch of lens flare, because after just watching 10 seconds of this trailer, I think to myself, sorry Star Trek fanboys, it just seems like J.J. Abrams is trying a little bit harder on this franchise than he did on that one. And then a few seconds later, we see the character Rey in the film, and there's a very Luke Skywalker vibe going on. This character is just looking into the distance, wanting more out of life. Luke Skywalker. And then after all that, we see some shots of the character of Finn in the movie, and he's also a character looking to make a change. In the trailer, he says, I was born to do one thing. And maybe, just maybe, he was born to be a stormtrooper, and he doesn't agree with the First Order anymore, so he wants to do something different. And then at this point, we get a look inside the Starkiller base. It looks pretty awesome. It looks like an Apple store a thousand years into the future, if everyone at Apple turned evil, and I kind of like it. By the way, look at this beautiful Star Wars Episode 7 poster right here. Now, you can see the Starkiller base in that poster, and looking at it in the movie, it looks like it's actually built into a moon like they actually went to a moon and built the base inside of it and then we get some really cool extended shots of the galaxy's newest badass Kylo Ren and I like this guy I like his voice you know it has the Darth Vader slash Bane thing going on I just dig robotic voices I don't know if I was evil I'd have a robotic voice we then see Darth Vader's dilapidated beat to hell helmet and then Kylo Ren goes on to say he's fulfilling Darth Vader's prophecy even though by the end of Return of Jedi you turn into a good guy sort of but Kylo Ren doesn't know that, so yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what kind of shit he starts. Then we see some really cool money shots of the Millennium Falcon flying around. And it just, when you watch things like that, it makes you feel like a little kid again, you know? Like, I want to pick this popcorn up off the ground and eat it when I think about it. The one scene in this trailer that sends chills down my spine and makes me feel the urge that I have to see this movie is the scene where you have the character of Rey, and she's looking at Han Solo, and she's like, is it true? The stories of your previous adventures? And then Han Solo in his badass ways is like, it's true. All of it. And then in another one of my favorite shots in the trailer, we see Kylo Ren walking up to Finn in the darkness out in the woods. And just look at Finn's face right here. It's like at this point, Finn knew he fucked up when that triple lightsaber lit up. Sorry, Finn. Shit's about to get real. And one other really cool thing about the trailer is we finally get to see Carrie Fisher. She will be part of the movie. That's really cool. But the one thing we don't get to see is Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker. And I like that they're savoring the Luke Skywalker flavor. I just can't wait to see that really badass epic scene where he's introduced for the first time in the movie. I really just hope he walks in and saves the day at one point. I don't know. Maybe he'll save the day for Finn when Kylo Ren lit up that triple lifesaver. I don't know. So overall, I don't really know what flaws you could find in this trailer. If you're a Star Wars fan, I think the trailer gave you everything you wanted. And the best thing about trailers like this is, yeah, we get a little insight to what's actually happening in the movie, but we still don't know anything. All right, guys, so that's my take on the final Star Wars trailer. Now, here's my question to you. Let me know down below what you think about the trailer. What little details did you pick up about this? And by the way, if you guys haven't already, please make sure you check out my last movie review of Goosebumps. It's a creepy, weird time that involves a gnome and also my brand new movie news video that gets a little bit weird at times. So check out those videos, links down below. And as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.